How you doing? Doing a little bit of street preaching. Not picking. You got signs. Protesting anything. Doesn't say don't don't go to Outback. That's picketing. Right. This is preaching. I should let one person handle it. Decide who that is. The Bible says, "Point a man wants to die, and after this comes the judgment." Yeah, the God of the universe created everything you see. He's a judge, man, oh God. God's going to judge the whole universe. He's going to judge you for every thought, every word, and every deed. Everything done in darkness. Every lustful thought. Every porn film you looked at. Every time you lusted after your waitress. Every time you stole. Every time you lied. Every time you fornicated. Every time you got drunk. Every time you went to the strip clubs. God has it recorded. And you'll call you give an account for your sins. That's why it commands all men everywhere to repent. There's coming a day when you will judge the world in righteousness. So you can flee. Flee the rest of God. Get ready to meet your maker. The only way that God's providing for a sinner to be saved, for a sinner to be forgiven, is the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Christ in the cross, sinner. blood on the cross, to offer sinners mercy, to offer them grace, to offer them pardon. But you must repent. You must forsake your sins. You must go and sin no more, as Jesus said, and start following Jesus. The Bible says, Awake unto righteousness and sin not. The Bible Jesus said to the man who he healed, said, go and sin no more, lest a worse thing happen to you. And you see, sinners, all that can happen to you to continue your sin is worse than You guys be yeah, really read the rest of that verse, sinners. Read the rest of that verse. The Bible says to the man, the Bible Jesus said, the man who was caught in adultery said, go and sin no more. Same message bring tonight. The only hope you have that you stop your rebellion, you stop your you are uh, rebellion against God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and you start serving Him and following Him. That's the only. I don't want to drink your beer. I don't want to drink your beer, sinner. I'm, I'm sober. I'm sober minded. I want anything to do with your beer and your alcohol. The Bible commands you to be sober minded and self control. If you want any hope in the end of being saved, of being forgiven, you better do the same thing. You better put down your fear and your tequila. Pick up the Bible and read it and obey it. The only hope you have. The only hope God provides for sinners is through Jesus Christ. Buddha can't save you, Allah can't save you. Now these false religions can save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. So why you still have breath in your lungs? Why you still uh, your heart still beating? Stop sitting and follow Jesus. Now if you're a Hooters waitress, put some clothes on. You know what clothing was meant to do? Clothing was meant to cover, not to seduce, not to entice. Not to cause some of the lust, but to cover, cover, cover. Now your body's meant to be seen by your spouse and your spouse alone. Yes, so God commands you to repent. God commands you to forsake your sin. And if you think that because you went to church this morning that you're okay with God, you're deceiving yourself. You're only lying to yourself. If God sees your church going and still sees your rebellion, and you only condemn yourself more. And if you want to stay here and listen, you can. That cop can't make you go inside. 
Because all the commands you to repent, sinners, turn from your sin and turn to Jesus. Then we can have that same effect on the uh, curly bars. Yeah. Yeah, we just a couple go in and out. Huh? Seen a couple of people go in and out of bars, huh? Yeah. And that guy said that, and going, well, maybe we should go over there. That cop's trying to pull the same thing we have in the past. Right. Picketing. Yeah. We have signs for picketing. Now, picketing is against an organization. Right. Like, if I was part of the Hooters uh, uh, union, right. and I wanted to picket the Hooters union, I'd have to have a permit for that. Well, maybe, this is, maybe even if your sign said something about Hooters. Like, right. Don't go or to Don't go to Hooters. Uh, they have terrible shrimp. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ said, repent or perish. That means if, if you're fornicating, you start living pure. If you're going to be looking at pornography, turn off the computer. It means if you're looking at the people, you have to pure thoughts. It means if you're dressed in mind and clean, you put clothes on. That's what repent means. Repent doesn't mean saying sorry or asking. For forgiveness, repent means you stop it. You stop doing it and start doing the opposite. Start living rightly. The Bible says, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Without holiness, friends, all I've said for you is hell, hell, hell. Amen. Poor God, we love you, mercy, grace. He commands you to repent. Follow him. But at least I just. Oh, it's just a bird. Good. Fly around you. Tell her knees to stop lying. Stop lying. Deal with them? I'll deal with them, yeah. Hey, okay, you're watching on too? Yeah. Try to stay close by to you. Yeah. See if I can turn this light off. See you fine. That light's funny.